What's up, everybody? I'm IGP, and welcome back to Worlds Adrift. I know, I know, finally, it's been like three weeks or something since I've played it. Let me just be honest with you guys, because I've been honest about other series. Sometimes these games take a long time to make a video about. I know I talked about what I was going to do, which, if you don't know, today we're going to be building a better ship. Look at this piece of junk. Look at that. We just got to scrap it and start over. So that's what we're going to do today. This game is very time consuming. Sometimes it can be an upwards of close to four hours of recording, not even including editing that I have to do. So it is intimidating and it is deterring for me. So sometimes I just kind of like, ah, I don't want to go through four hours of recording right now. My voice hurts or I'm just tired, whatever the case, and it gets put off. So I apologize for any of those uh, that I upset for not uploading Worlds Adrift. I love this game. This game is amazing. I highly recommend this game to everyone if you can get your hands on a uh, founders pack when they come out they they get out i think it's like every month they come out or maybe even more frequent than that but if you can get your hands on it get it i highly recommend it anyway let's go ahead and start so I, my fear is <laughs> immediately is that if i move my lockers to the ground out here that the inside the contents of them will just be removed and i'm afraid so i'm gonna try it uh, without even trying to see if maybe I should remove it. I'm just going to place it down there, and then can we access this? Ah, okay, so it does. Good. We are all set. So let's just move these giant-ass lockers. Did I really only have three? I had more than that. There's no way. Or maybe not. Maybe not. I'm not sure. So I'm going to move my gun. We might make some better guns if we can do that. Let me move my engines over there don't hit that please thank you it doesn't really seem like anyone's been to this island recently except for the fact that my uh, shipping yard is gone but that could be that could be anything to be honest oh wait wait wait, wait. before we start we got to go check to see if the uh the treasure is back <laughs> i am the master okay so there's a little bit more grass on here or maybe the trees are poking through i don't know let's see come on please <gasps> It's not. Is someone really running around collecting these things? Or maybe it spawned somewhere else. And I'm pretty sure when I was coming down, I saw an extra knowledge thing over there somewhere. Ah, sweet. It is here. Okay. Yeah. 35 knowledge. Now, how much knowledge do I have? I don't think I have that much, right? I can get some more wings if I want to. Uh, or maybe any ones. Oh, just 160 and I could have got an awesome wing. Oh, hey, you secret little bastard. Excellent. All right, so I have enough knowledge now. I can get better wings and I just got eight steel. All right, so it looks like the thing was patched for me to give myself a boost or it's it's actually acting differently, which I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, you can do, you can do the boost kind of, but when you grapple the ground now, it doesn't like continue, go, you can't continue moving. It basically halts you. So then it just renders the entire thing useless. So basically they patched it. <laughs> in other words, they patched it. There goes my fun in manipulating the game to better suit my needs of speed. Let's go ahead and remove some more stuff and then we'll sculpt out our frame. I basically just got to move everything over. So I'm thinking the frame needs to have the best materials. Uh, so on that note, I do have to bring back the locker up here just so I can see what I could use. I want to use level 10 stuff, quality 10, because, I mean, I'll never have to, as far as I know, repair the frame. Steel would be, I feel like steel would be best. So that's basically it. I don't have a lot of really good stuff. I thought I did, but I guess I don't. All right, so I got all the best rated stuff on my person right now, so we'll use that to build the frame. Hopefully these things don't get destroyed. Okay, so that is my ship's frame, and these are all the parts that were attached to it. So what I'm gonna do next is I am going to unlock a, uh, do I have room? I, do, I don't even know if I have room. I do not have room, so I have to unlearn a wing, which I'm just going to pick a crappy one uh, like this one and just unlearn it, because I don't need it. And then I'm going to learn this one, which should be pretty cool. Ha ah, ah, ha, yes! Metal wings, finally! Oh, dude, my plane's gonna look so awesome. So I have metal wings and potentially metal engines too. Oh, this is good. This is very good. So we do have to build a functional ship now uh, in, this, in this place before we can go out and get more resources, which we're probably going to need. But first, let's go to our shipping yard and salvage frame. Yes, that's all you gave me. We don't have a ship anymore. We are officially on our own. All right, let's edit the skipper and see. Ooh, yeah, that looks good. 
This is basically what I started with before. But what I kind of want is an even like point. I want it to come straight to a point at the beginning. I don't want it to be rounded at all. And I want walls on the outside, if at all possible. Now, is this a thing that we can do? Okay, so with a lot of patience, I've finally made what I believe to be the perfect cube for this. Uh, it's actually very hard to maneuver. If any of you guys have ever tried to do this, uh, legitimately, it's it's incredibly hard. So I spent a lot of time, I basically used the little done button at the bottom and lined it up with the grid to be able to put everything into a, a perfect cube shape. But this is what I want to start with. What I want to do is build the foundation of the ship. Uh, shape it out on the inside the way I want. I need to make room for enough lockers to carry all my stuff for extra protection. And in addition to that, I want to be able to fit my engines on the inside. Um, so I don't know if I'm limited specifically by uh, this little blue thing, because I've seen ships that are absolutely massive. And I don't know, as far as I can tell, I can only go out two more. I can't actually extend any longer than this. And as far as up, it can only be four. So six by four is the biggest that I can actually build. Um, so I don't know how other people do it, but if you guys know how that happens, let me know. But I figured, you know what, let's start with just something small and compact because I want to be able to fly around and have it the least amount of trouble possible. So, uh, the front end of both of these are going to be shaped to be a little aerodynamic. At the bottom here, I'm going to raise these outward. Uh, and expand them to be able to fit the engines on the inside so that way they can't get damaged and on top of that I can fit a whole bunch of storage. So this is the base. This is what I want to do I'm going to go ahead and hit done and save it. So now that's the default and I can revert to changes if I mess up. Oh Hey, it's shaking great. That means I can get a new chest. Hold on. We got we got a side distraction We got to deal with this now. Okay, let's see. Are you in here? <gasps> you aren't Wait, where did the where did it go? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get I'm gonna start getting upset. Well, uh, this kind of sucks. I don't know where the chest is anymore. Maybe it got removed. Is that a possibility? Could check the well again. Maybe. I honestly don't think there's anything down there besides the knowledge. That must mean that the chest is somewhere else and we haven't taken anything out of it because it didn't respawn. Ooh, wait. I think I found another knowledge thing. Is this one? Did I not get this one? Seriously? Oh my god. I'm dumb, dude. I missed like seven of these. Okay, well, I legitimately have no idea where this chest is. Unfortunately. But whatever. I'm gonna get back to building my ship now. We'll find chests elsewhere. All right, now, goddamn, does that look sweet? I know it's very simple, but trust me, I've put a lot of thought into all aspects of this thing, and hopefully, hopefully, uh, it'll all work out as planned. Uh, now, I do want to kind of preface this. I cut a ton of stuff out, but I've been doing like I was normally doing. I would fix something up and then run out here and test it. However, when I moved to this specific spot, I glitched under, as you can see, my bag's right there. Uh, I glitched under the thing right here and that killed me uh, and I didn't have and it actually reminds me right now I need to put my personal reviver down which it's gone oh my god you've got to be kidding me oh I'm just realizing stuff as I'm trying to explain the bad news the bad news is I uh I lost all my lockers now the stuff that was in the lockers th they were definitely important stuff but I took out the most valuable rocks and I have them on me currently which means I definitely need to make myself where is did I make an assembler I don't even think I did that okay regardless the lockers are gone uh, I had died and I didn't have my respawn down so I respawned to a island pretty close to here and I had to build a ship just it's the ships over here by the way I'll show you in a second but I had to come all the way back and when I came back the lockers were gone I thought someone had stolen all my goods but I think they just deteriorated and so, yeah, and apparently also the additional modular attachment thing that I had on this. Anyway, both of those things are now gone. <laughs> Son of a bitch. If you guys didn't see, this thing requires a ton of resources. I can do wood, but I don't have enough. I definitely have enough of nickel, I think. Maybe. Yes, I have enough nickel, but it's not, uh, it's not going to be high quality. Even so, I don't have enough of any other material to be able to put down the beams. 
So, that kind of sucks. Either way, I'm screwed. So this is a very scrambled episode, and I hope you guys are just enjoying the ride regardless. So, this is the ship. This is my idea with it. I wanted it to be aerodynamic. Uh, the wings are going to be in the, on the outside, and I've widened the base. So that way we can put four engines, one here, one there, one there, and one there. Uh, this back panel is going to be for fuel. I can have up to two, maybe even three fuel uh, containers there. If I need gas, I don't have to worry about refueling it. I can put the fuel gauge in there, obviously. And what I want to do is put windows at the very bottom uh, and have guns on the inside that can look in any of these directions. Of course, guns on top to hit stuff that's on top of me. And that's the idea. So what I'm going to do is to get to the driving place. I don't want the helm exposed. So I might adjust this real quick though, but I want this to be able to have on the inside right here, if you can see my cursor where it's pointing. But there'll be a window there where you can look out and see. I hope that works. If all else fails, I'm gonna have to put it right out front, and that sucks. Uh, but I also want stairs from the back leading down into the bottom so you can access the guns and everything else that needs to be on the inside. That's pretty much the idea of what I'm gonna do. This has taken me way too long. I've been I've been playing this game, not recording, but I've been playing this game for probably about three hours right now, and I have barely gotten started just because I got set back with that stupid death. And if I die again, it's over. Okay, so there's some resources right there. I could use that. Not that it's going to be that great. And still no treasure chest, man. I'm not sure what's going on. I have no idea where this chest is. I guess when I go on the look, look out for resources, I'll be looking for the chest, so... <laughs> when I said I was going to dedicate an episode to rebuilding the ship, I meant that, didn't I? All right, well, I guess I'll go gather some resources and, uh, and I'll be back. Well, well, well. Look- Oh, son of a bitch. Don't kill me, please. All right. Super careful. I found it. I found the secret thing. What do you got? Railing corner? Pfft. We get railings, dude? Hell yes. No schematic slots available. Uh, spark workhorse? <gasps> oh my god. Goodbye. Finally, dude! God, it took forever finding that thing. It's so secret. Right up here. Alright, so I gotta get rid of, for the railing? The railing corner and a spark workhorse. That seems like it's pretty good. Uh, but let me take a look at the ship parts I have. The engines. So this one's actually pretty good. So, this one is 18, this one is 14, this one seems like the lowest, so I'm actually going to unlearn that, and then learn the workhorse. Sweet. Looks pretty good. But that's 29 power. If I got four of those, shit. It's a railing corner, so I should probably get rid of something like a crappy wing. Yeah, I mean, this one in general is pretty bad. Yeah, I don't care. Let's just unlearn it. I'm not trying to waste all the slots that I have available. Okay, so this will be under structural? A corner section of a ship's railing. So I can get railings. That's awesome. Okay, cool. So I just stick around here until the next one pops up. At least I know where, where one is. I mean, I have an idea of where some of them might be. That's the ship, by the way. <laughs> the one I had to build on the spot. Uh, I got plenty of resources. Not enough to build the frame, but what I'm thinking about doing is once it lightning strikes again because i have 610 of seven quality iron if i get 900 of those that'll be just enough uh to build the frame of it or the decks of them and then i would just need something else to use probably this nickel i'm not trying to wait around forever now yeah let's just go ahead and do that if i have enough i gotta check okay honestly i think this is the best that i'm gonna get it's slightly aerodynamic I don't really think it makes that much of a difference. It might, but we'll see. Let's go ahead and make this thing. All right. So all of my nickel basically can go right there. <laughs> and then I don't know what these other parameters are. And then the 610 iron, mainly because I don't know how the beams interact with damage and such, but the decks are the ones that I'm going to have to repair often. Nickel's not too hard to come by. And apparently it's one of the most versatile ones. So I think, I think we're good. I'm just gonna craft this. <sighs> a minute and 40 seconds. Do your work. And now I'm now I'm safe here. Oh yeah. There we go. It's looking sexy and perfect timing, dude. Is it shaking? Yes. Oh, I'm so happy. Hello? <clears throat> so you're not back here. Okay. So you're probably over here. Oh, it's not here either. What the hell? Ooh, 119 titanium. Please gimme. I should probably go and look and gather some more resources, too, so I can rebuild these with the best. 
What a day this is. Oh boy, we just found a sky core stabilizer. It says a sky core upgrade guarding against core instability to increase lift by at least 600k. So we, we it wasn't all in vain, okay? We did lose about 200, but now we can make it. I'm pretty happy right now, although I do have to uh next scarf. Okay. Well, I do have What? What? No! No, 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 no. You've got to be kidding me. Why are you attacking me, dude? Why are you attacking me? I'm dying. I have barely not health left. All right, I got to lose something. So this one doesn't look like I want it. So I'm going to get rid of it. Excellent. Oh, dude, I'm so happy right now. So happy. So we can get uh, 400. So 1,000 on top of... So we get 2,000 total. So we're, yeah, we're just missing the 200 that we had before. But again, that's, that's really nothing. I made my ship uh, relatively small. It's not huge, but it's also not very... S oh, no. Oh, no, that's it. That's it. Oh, my God. Don't do this to me. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell? There's an extra part to this. Well, damn. And here it is. <laughs> Yay, got another Atlas lifter. We're getting... What do we got? A large panel, which we already have. A spine shank... Or spine shaft cranker. I don't need those... But, uh, at least we got it. I did not realize this was here. Very well hidden. How did I just discover that? Oh, well, back to grinding. All right, so I'm taking a break from scavenging. Uh, I really haven't put anything else yet. I'm actually kind of curious as to why is it only the flat areas that get filled in with decks and the rest are just walls? Because that's definitely flat. But for some reason... So we have a deck right here. Let me try to put this... Nope. Those are going to be walls, which is good because over here, I can actually put a window. Oh, dude, that's going to be awesome. Hold on a second. I'm going to put the base stuff in first. So sky core is going to be setting. Where should I put down the ceiling? It's probably best if I put it on the ceiling. I can see how this would be beneficial if it's on the ceiling. So if I'm going to drive here, which would be pretty cool because I could just have a window straight out, right? Like I could see where I'm driving just through this that would be awesome i'd have to take out this panel i think which i will put down here so i can get more iron for whoa oh, that's the sky core crap yeah i really didn't want any weird place gaps there god dang it so i chose to put iron as the beams and the nickel as the floor mainly because i can replace them hey dude one of my lockers is back what <gasps> does that mean the other things are back too oh wait a second what is happening? Maybe there's just too many things on the ground, and as I move them, the rest of them will appear back? Oh, dude, please. Please be the case. Maybe. I have faith. So, at this point, we need to put that up there. Like, right now. Yes! 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 I love you so much right now. Oh my god. Put an engine somewhere. I don't even care. Let the stuff come back. Come on. Hell yeah, dude. So I got a whole bunch of stuff back, which is good. Uh, but it's not the one that had the extra, like, nickel and such, which is what I could really use right now. Oh. My. God. You must be joking. That's a joke, right? I did not know you could hold down Z Nobody told me this? Maybe somebody did and I just didn't hear him. But Jesus Christ. Dude, that's all I needed, man. That's literally all I needed. So I could just rotate and place stuff? Oh my god. Wow. I mean, it looks kind of stupid. I'm not even going to lie, but still. Well, nothing else has come back just yet, so... Uh, and my ship looks like absolute shit. But we're going to make some good stuff. So our engines that we have still aren't as good as the ones I stole. This one is the best that I've seen so far, as far as power goes. Uh, everything else seems kind of like... Like, this one's pretty damn good. And I don't know how you upgrade them, but I think I'm just going to make these... So I need some wood out of here. Just whatever good wood I have. I really got to reorganize now because things aren't working as I thought they would. And even so, like... Oh, I can't go in here. God damn it! So my ship has a part in it that's fucking useless. God. Luckily, I put this down. So yeah, it was too tiny to go in. That's understandable. Guess I have to shut that off. I guess I could put my sky core in there. Somewhere. Okay, so that's as far as I can put that, which is fine. 
It's not that big a deal. But uh, this is going to start looking really ugly soon. I just kind of want to get off this island now. I kind of just want to, you know, build this up and leave. Find another island that I can get better resources from. Like the one I was already at, or probably a new one might be a good idea. And then replace all these terrible walls with something a little bit more sturdy. You know, something that won't get shot down out of the sky. Okay, so let's get in here and get some wood. Chestnut level 3, level 2. Here's 6. That's pretty good. Ooh, 7 ash. That's pretty good too. And then 5 elm. Uh, ash is pretty common here, but elm is more common everywhere. So that's, I think that's what I'm going to go with. So, let's see. Casing for that. Propeller also with that. It'll leave me enough for two of these engines. The mechanical internals, definitely some uh, iron. And then I guess some copper for that. Since it's a good conductor, let me find something that is great with heat. Is that co- yeah, maybe copper would be the best. Yeah, I guess copper's the best. Got seven and six, so let's just make one of these. Oh, is it not? It's not showing up. Oh, it's still being built. Okay, I guess I can't see. I used to be able to see it before. Eh, whatever. So I may not actually have enough room in, in this thing. Uh, so this might have been the biggest waste of time ever. Holy God forsaken shit. This thing is fucking huge. What the hell? <laughs> what? All right, you know what? I'm going to put these two on the outside. Uh, these two can definitely go on the outside. Just right up here. I don't even care. <laughs> For now. Uh, these two can fit inside because they're pretty small. Yeah, I definitely did not give myself enough room for this. Which sucks. Which sucks, but you know. Wow, this is just a mess. <laughs> That's an absolute mess. Uh, so this is supposed to be... Okay, so let me move some stuff. These lockers should go like up here somewhere for now because the gas tank is supposed to sit behind. All right, so maybe the stairs wasn't the best idea. I'm gonna just put this right here for now, and then we can look to move this guy. <gasps> yes! No way! Dude! Yes! Attach! I don't even care! <laughs> yes! So between all of it, that's 2,800. Did anything else come back? Any more, uh, you know, lockers or anything? I'd be super happy about that. And of course not. That's fine. That was actually the one thing I was most worried about. I have no guns or anything, but that's totally fine. As long as I can lift it. So, I got two of the engines inside. Where could the lockers be? That's, this is the, this is the hard part, is where could the lockers be? You know, I, I made this with the intent of being, let me actually check. Because if I have 2800, I might just redo this when I get to a new island too. Like, this will be version one, and I'm still going to explore and stuff. So, okay, I'm almost at full weight, but I have pretty much everything. And I have another thousand kilograms. Yeah, I could have made this much bigger. I could have definitely made this much bigger. This was, like, the biggest waste of hours of my life ever. All right, let me make some, uh, iron seems like the best, to be honest. Iron stuff. Okay, so stabilizer. I'm going to give that some atlas shards, uh, casing and internals. Wow, I could use some good stuff on this. Yeah, let's use some tin. I'm fine with tin. Craft it up. Yes. So I'll add the other piece too. Oh, just so we have as much as possible. Yep, and it attaches right there. Dude, that is nuts. Ah, it's looking so good. Yeah, this is hard to navigate. <laughs> it's really hard to navigate this thing. Yep, so basically I made this ship, spent a lot of time on it, and I'm probably going to make a different one. <laughs> Oh, boy. Yes, perfect. Let's go check out and see what's new. Ugh, God dang it. Oh, well. I will find it, and there will be more grind. There will most certainly be some more grind. Look at this bad boy. Okay, so let me break this down for you. Uh, because I did a lot. <laughs> I did a lot off camera because I know it can get really boring, and I just want to get to the good stuff for you guys. Even though it's been, like, you know, seven hours of stuff, whatever. It's fine. And this is always going to bug me. This graphical error here. Anyway, I learned a lot. So let me let me just go through the tour of my new ship so you can see what I had in mind and how it actually came to fruition. So let me get up to the top and show you my cool ass ship. I mean, this looks pretty, it looks pretty similar to what I had before, but that's because it's a ship and it has to look that way. So I put the walls up, uh, just slightly up, like a little bit of a lip. 
so that way it creates this railing so in case I'm walking around frantically I won't accidentally fall off and it works really well I have not fallen the only place I can fall off is right here I think nope actually I can't perfect uh back here I haven't figured out what I want to do with this yet it's actually been my the toughest decision design wise uh it, it, as far as the back goes to protect and give an entryway um so it's a bit ugly but again it's the backside so who who actually cares uh so we got the wings these are the metal wings this is the rare one uh they are I believe facing the right way unfortunately I can't turn them I can pick them up and if you look real quick and you see if I press Z it doesn't actually turn so I'm assuming that it automatically snaps to the right direction it's supposed to go based on the forward orientation of your ship uh, these two big ass engines couldn't fit on the inside so they're on the outside temporarily I will be upgrading this ship uh, later on obviously replacing some of these walls with better walls better floors stronger stuff and then eventually building a better frame that I can just go ahead and uh, used to protect basically everything uh, and those are easy to build they're just big and bulky they're really powerful but they're big and bulky so I'm just gonna keep them on the outside if they get destroyed they get destroyed no big deal um, so here's the here's the top uh, the best way to get to the top is to do this and then get off uh, all the cannons are already loaded we got our nice little boss of studios flag excellent I do want to thank you guys boss of studios directly for your support in the series and uh, working on such a fantastic game got our little lamps up here and we got two guns obviously like we did before to cover both sides because unfortunately uh, it only turns at 180 degrees okay so let me go down to the cockpit because I thought this was pretty freaking cool so you get to the cockpit and these this is to act as a window it looks badass but it really isn't I'm super vulnerable uh, until I guess they add glass into the game it would be uh, I'm just gonna leave it like this and in front of me I've added a little pipe thing which I don't know what it's for I'm just using it to basically hold this up if you guys know what the the pipe the bar pipe is for then let me know in the comment section but I have my heading indicator and my fuel gauge right here so I can always see uh, what my fuels at so I know I could run back or I don't have to keep checking to make sure it's full it's an awesome feature I love having that here so you get out and Here's the respawn point. I know it's kind of in the open, but what are you going to do? It's a small ass ship. Anyway, so you can hop down here. And as you can see, we got all of the upgrades here for our Skycore. We're at 2,800 and I've pushed it to the limit. All of this stuff is just shy of 2,800. And over here, I have windows with guns that actually come outside. Now, I don't know if this is the window acting like this. I think, honestly, let me see if I can fire. Okay, so it does not hit the inside that's all I care about so I have one on either side so the entire my 360 degrees is completely covered um, not just by two guns but basically every angle can be covered now we have our fuel container back here I'll go ahead and refuel and as you can see we have some new uh, storage containers uh, while I was gone the place reset like three times and I got two extra uh, storage things one and I've also as you, as you can see I, I added an extra slot because I'm tired of getting rid of wings anyway under storage we now have the storage container which holds much more than the locker and then the mounted box which can pretty much go anywhere on the walls these are going to be nice once I build those and get more stuff uh, I'll be putting them everywhere but that's actually going to be super sweet because you can just line them up right under here as long as they fit anyway so a lot of you are probably wondering how the hell you get out you can grappling but I'd actually just rather jump on the engine and then jump out or you can use this basically as a bridge to get where you need to go so it works it definitely works and this is the most protection I can provide uh, given what I have so that is it that is the current state of this amazing ship again 2800 kilograms of weight I don't know how many additional attachments there are for that sky core but hopefully there's some more anyway so I'm done here I'm done with this this uh this island I'm actually gonna head to a new island and check it out a little bit and then we'll call this episode so let's go ahead and fly this bad boy let's get the hell out of here now this thing is probably gonna move super slow because it's so heavy <laughs> yeah as you can see it's not rising up as fast as you'd imagine I do like the look of this though just pretend there's glass there and that would look amazing and you know it all right I hit something shit stop it stop it ah oh, god damn it I hit the tree get out of here come on okay keep going let's just go forward see how fast this thing goes 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's super fast. Ugh, God, it's really fast. Let's slow it on down. Slow it down. Just a little bit. The only problem I have with this is I can't actually look 360 around me. Um, so this is where, like, a teammate would really help. God, this thing looks so good. It's another cone-shaped one. I might head over there, I guess. Whoa, Mantis. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh my god, dude, those wings! That is perfect! That is so fast! Alright, we're just gonna book it. Let's go! Wow. Wow. Look at this! God, it's so fast! I love it! I love it! Hey, there's my old ship. Goodbye! Not my old ship, but my ship that basically, uh, I had to make to get back to where I was. Uh-oh. What is this? Huh? Slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down. I have no idea what this is. It's a major fog. Ooh, wait, there's an island. Oh, it's the Cone Island. I was heading there, wasn't I? Oh my god, it's so easy to maneuver this thing now. It's amazing! So I wish they had doors, you know what I mean? Like, and like, partial floors. Devs, if you're watching, let's add that. Like, the de- you know how you- you can place certain walls at different angles? You can't do that with decks? Let's try to do that with decks so I can put a bridge here or something. Or a bridge over these, and that way I can just walk straight in and have the opening go straight down with stairs or something, and then have a door. I don't know. Whatever would be easy for you guys, but I, I, I need something to uh, make this look better back here. Everything else looks great. I just can't do much with this, uh, this crazy ass back. Now, this heading indicator, am I? Okay, it is working. I'm headed west. I guess it was just convenient that I was facing north in my uh, shipping yard. I do love the lighting effects too, this is actually really cool. Gives me a nice feeling. Okay, so it uses up quite a bit of fuel, but not tremendous. Alright, let's- let's see what happens when I tilt up. Oh my god, that is so fast. Oh, game is freezing. Hello? Damn it! The game crashed. Dude, what am I gonna do? How- how quickly does it despawn my ship? Because this thing is sailing at full speed. I mean, I know I can respawn on my ship. So that's not an issue. I wonder if it has something to do with the server. Nope, there I go. Well. Alright, can we hurry up and die, please? Now, am I gonna be able to respawn in here safely? That's the question. Holy shit, this looks awesome! Whoa, look at that one that low! Dude, that is dangerous! Alright, hurry up, dude. Come on, hurry up. Yes! Hurry. Grab it! Grab it! Okay. Alright. Holy shit, this is actually super dangerous. Oh, God! Ugh. 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 Got it! Ah! Oh, stop climbing! Woo! Alright. Turn off the engines for now. Jesus Christ. Where the hell are we? Oh my god, that's a giant gun! I knew it! Oh my god, what happened? Wait, whoa! What happened to my wing? What the fuck? What in the hell happened to my wing? Um, was that supposed- I don't think that was supposed to happen. My wing just basically separated from where it was supposed to be and is now... What? Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to fix that. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, so let's see where we are. We're a little bit cloudy. Uh, we could go to the gun place, but that place looks like it could be potentially, like... Yeah, let's go there. Let's go there and park. Ooh, is that a shipping yard right there? Hell yeah, dude. Let's go. Perfect. Yes! It worked! Cool, now I can move this stupid wing. Dude, don't do that ever again. Oh, is it rotated? No, stop going on the inside. What is wrong with you? No! What? What is even- Ugh. What are you talking about, dude? What are you doing? No, stop. Why is it- Why? Why- Why would you turn around like that? Oh my god. You're starting to really piss me off there, buddy. So it basically, you're just gonna go upside down. Wherever I tell you to go, right? Alright, well, I guess I gotta get rid of this one, dude. That sucks. Okay, I need a lot more nickel, a lot more elm, and quite a bit more copper. Okay. Hopefully I still have all this in here. This is stupid. I'm- I'm gonna explore my god. Look at that gun, dude. I'm gonna explore this, trust me. I just, uh, what is this? That's a palm tree? What? Okay. Good enough. Okay, well, I'd say my ship is pretty badass, and on that note, I'm going to call it here. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Next episode, we are going to explore this giant island. Anyway, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!